So in this document, we'll uh, explain how to export floor plans uh, to PDF from a DWG file in AutoCAD. Uh, so here we have an hotel, four different floors, and we will export each of them. Um, so the first thing you want to do is to zoom in onto one floor and find out the dimension of the floor, uh, which will drive the dimension of the, um, of the PDF file you will uh, output. Okay, so here you see me measuring the um, the height of the floor, which is about 45, and this is a unit used in in AutoCAD. The, the unit doesn't really matter here. What we want to get is um, the dimension of the of the paper size, right? Uh, so you take two dimensions: the height of the floor plan and then the length of the floor plan. Uh, and this will pretty much drive how big the page will be when you export it into uh, a PDF file, right? Um, so here you see me measuring both the height and the and the length. Once you have that, you can go into the pre print um, uh, function. So you'll see me uh, pulling out the print functions, and then you have something called paper size. And under paper size, you have the regular paper sizes A4 and so on. And here, what we'll do is that we'll create our own paper size that will match the dimension of our floor plan, right? So here we'll set it up to 45 uh, by 105, and we will use then uh, uh, we will use this uh, new paper size to uh, to export our PDFs for each of our floor plans. Uh, if you have different uh, floor plan dimensions you have to do this process multiple times so you can you know export your floor plans without much white space um, around the actual floor plan okay so when you're done you can go back to the print feature you 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 will select the um, the the print dwg to pdf then you select the paper size that we've just created and then you, they have a feature called window uh, what to print window and then it this allows you to go back into AutoCAD and select exactly what you want to see in the in the PDF in the uh, final PDF file then you can center it to the center of the page and then print it out um, and then you should have floor plan like this with um, not much white space uh, around it so what <coughs> once you're done you can uh, rinse and repeat for the other floors uh, so you'll see here uh, I'll be doing the other floors uh, so same thing you go back to the print uh, function you select DWG to PDF um, you then select the paper size that we just created uh, what to print window this will bring you back to AutoCAD you can select what you want so you click to start the selection you click again to stop the selection then you center it uh, on your PDF file and you can just save it uh, on your uh, on your computer as another PDF file and then you can do all the different floors uh, afterwards if you want to consolidate all these different PDF files you can always do so um, on your computer using your, your favorite PDF uh, application. Uh, I usually don't. I usually import them into Ikehau right away. Uh, I don't really mind having one uh, file per floor. Uh, so here you see uh, me doing the same thing again. I select what I want to see, uh, convert it into PDF uh, using the same paper size um, and then centering, centering the selection in, in the center of the page. Uh, the last one would be, so here in this case, they have two floors and two basements. So you see 0, 1, minus 1, minus 2. So this would be the uh, sub-basement, the parking lot, basically. And same thing again, export to PDF. They have different um, uh, where to export it to PDF, different quality. Uh, the one I use here is usually the one I use. Uh, but you can try the other ones if you want to uh, try it for yourself. Um, it gives you a different quality of PDF. Uh, depending, so depending on the size of your building, this might uh, uh, matter to you. Uh, usually this is, this is good enough for me. Uh, so I've been using this one. 
and once you're done you should have all your different floors uh, so here we have four different floors uh, you can open them to make sure that they, they look good they, um, they, uh, they, you know they're exactly what you expect and because there is not, uh, you know, not a lot of white space around the floor plans, they would be easy to use in the, into the Ekahao and use with uh, uh, custom templates, report templates. Uh, you will not have to do much uh, cropping or other um, operations, image modification operations. They're pretty much ready to go. And you can, uh, because it's PDFs, you can zoom in and get the, you know, the details that you need. Uh, here I've just uh, opened the Kahao and imported all the different floor plans and uh, as you can see we have the different floors uh, and the quality uh, the quality is, is pretty good you can zoom in and and, and see um, exactly what's on the floor plan so as you can see it's not that complicated and uh, that's pretty much it for for this one thank you guys